you know, for some reason, just looking back at this movie, I was one of those individuals that really hated this animation of the turtles because I just thought that they just looked kind of off. I mean, some of them, like Donatello, just looks like he's in a wreck set. No muscles, no thought and effort was being put to it. And I really hated this design until I got a copyright strike from the studios because I showed the image when I was covering this originally. But I think when it comes to like the trailers and the movie, however, when it came out finally, my opinions on these designs changed a lot because I had to watch these people in motion but in animation and I feel like it was done so well because of the story and it wasn't the orange story thank God because it was going to be another orange and Ninja Turtles film it was going to take me out completely but it didn't so it was not an origin it was a continuation of how these turtles are living in lives because they want to be accepted in society but None of that didn't happen until the final act of the movie. And that's when everybody was starting to love these turtles for a bit. But the, I don't want to say rise of the Team NT, but tales of the Team NT looks like they're going back to humans not really liking the green turtles for a bit though. But it's like a different switcheroo, you know what I'm saying? But the film, you know, the film itself is one of those movies that really made me love Ninja Turtles again because the hype was real. Every merchandise that was sponsored by these turtles, like it was just pandemonium. Pizza Hut, any other merchandise is like clothing, snacks, but Domino's, I don't think Domino's got sponsored with the Ninja Turtles, but I think mostly Pizza Hut was the one that was sponsored the most because that's what I remember the Ninja Turtles for, in my opinion. But at the end of the day, you know, this film really changed me. Not physically, but mentally, I feel like I can accept these turtles because they're all like there are teenagers after all. And so we got some information about the sequel, and we know that the Shredder is going to be the main focus of the second film as well and not only that but i think it's going to be more intense when Seb rogan was asked about it he said that they're working on the new title it was it's it's cool it's incredible the art style is fantastic but i just can't give it well i can't give you the details of it because that's what he said during the interview so we have to pretty much trust him on that as well and to be honest with you I'm more excited about the future of this franchise under Seth Rogen because he did a good job on this film. Like I said, when I originally covered this years ago, I hated the designs. But looking back on it now, I realized that I might have taken back some stuff I said because this film is so good. I want to watch it more and more and more because it's what got me back in the Ninja Turtles in the first place. Even though I love and adore the original 90s CMT movie, but it was this movie that really got me back into the franchise the story was good the acting was great the action scenes were good and jackie chan did a fantastic job as master splinter i just love this movie overall and yeah that's my thoughts